the Meg part of it all. Meg, I feel like Meg is, does Meg have an album coming out? We got to assume so. This is now the second single, third one, if you're counting the Mean Girls song. I feel like Meg has an axe to grind. And I feel like that whatever body of work is coming out is going to be a compilation of Meg shooting at whoever she's upset at. It seems that way. Yeah. Because Cobra was the... the the uh, uh, introspective, I'm going to get this stuff off my chest, even though I'm kind of angry record. And now yeah. his is just busting shots. Right. So. She said, I heard Party Fontaine, Partisan Fontaine, and I heard the rest of you itches too. Now. I am glad that I am not a rapper and subsequently do not date rappers because I can't imagine what it's like. Or just people who make songs. I can't imagine what two people who make music. Can't imagine what it's like breaking up and then being like, I want to write about this nigga. I don't know why my voice did that, but <laughs> I don't know why my voice did that. Oh, snap. <laughs> Like a, that was you know. hissed. That was your throat hissing. <laughs> that was my inner monster. <laughs> Got it. Got but it. I can't imagine. And then you end up in a battle between you and your ex. Now, it is entertaining for all of those watching, for the onlookers. It's yes, very it is. entertaining. Absolutely. But being in it, that seems so crazy to me. Like, I mean, you I don't have to be the rapper, though. Of course. Of course not. I'm just saying, I, I can't imagine <laughs> what these people go through when they, when they break up and they're like, man, now I have thoughts and feelings. You gotta be careful go. how you express those if the other Let person is an artist. Of course. Of course. But I feel like we're seeing with these two people that they do not want to contain those things. They Correct. do not want to control those things. They right. want to let it out. Yep. And, you know, now we're, you know, it's a pissing contest. A hissing and contest. That's exactly. Right. And that's fine. Um, if you, so you cool you cool with this what what Meg is doing? I don't. Because <laughs> it seems it seems like so far, if I'm wrong, correct me. But so far, I'm just just trying to keep score here. It seemed like you're cool with what Ice Spice did, putting it on wax, as we used to say. You're not cool with what Nikki did, expressing it on Twitter and Instagram Live. But you're, and and once again coming back, you're cool with Meg airing all of it out on record. That's what that's think, where you at with it? I think Meg is doing what rappers do. I think the difference between I think the difference there's no difference. I think the thing that people probably that probably burns people up inside about Meg is that she's a woman doing it. But I think that's what rappers do. I think that rappers come out all the time. We talk all the time about Drake and Kanye and Push a T and you know, we could we could list a long list of people who have gotten on a song and spilled everything or spilled some of the things. Yeah, but who said pretty... who said we were mad at Meg for doing it? Who's oh, mad at Meg for doing it? I think people give her a lot of flack for doing it. When Cobra oh. came out, there there was there was a lot of oh well she's saying this and this and that and why is the only she doing thing it I this saw way? was the stuff about the cheating ex, which everyone assumed was party. Right. Why is she doing it this way? Why is she saying this? Why is she? There was a lot of that. Got it. When that came out, I know me and you don't get into the comments or the 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 commentary around 
some of these things that we talk about, but it's out there. Sure. I'm saying I didn't hear it. I didn't say it doesn't exist. Yeah. So, um, so I, I don't feel like she's doing anything different from anyone else. And, and if, if I'm someone who's saying, if you got an ax to grind, put it in the music because like turn it into art, then it is what it is. How hard she, I can't, I can't then temper how hard she goes or how many people she shoots shots at or whatever, you know, like it, it has to be whatever it's going to be. Right. As far as Nicki Minaj goes, I don't know what Nicki's end game is. I get that Nicki wants people to think that she's the greatest, but I don't think anybody ever said that Nicki wasn't. Everybody and said that's... she wasn't. All the other women rappers. Well, the women, the women rappers, but I don't think there's... I, okay, so I don't think that... And remember, we covered on the old show how she's been snubbed many times at the Grammys. Well... If you put those two things together, that's a lot of people saying I'm not the best. Sure. Okay. Then I then I then I take back the way I said that. What I'm trying to say is as a culture, Nikki is respected by the culture. Nikki yeah. is revered by the culture. I don't I think the way <laughs> Do you think Nikki, Nikki, Nikki is, is looked at? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say Nikki is not without her problems. Okay. Right? Which, who isn't? But Nikki is not without her problems. But I don't think that ever, I don't think that ever negated Nikki's talent or Nikki's effort or I get the Grammy thing. I understand that. Um, wholeheartedly the people who say the people who end up saying that oh the grammys don't really matter and all of that well they say that but it matters in certain circles it matters when you're trying to you know make more money off of something or or you know when you're making your business deals or you're booking um booking performance venues or, yeah. you know, there's there's a list of things where your your name being at attached to Grammy winner or Grammy nominee matters. The same way at the Oscars, being an Oscar nominated, nominated um, actor or being uh, decorated with those awards make a difference because it it does something to the rest of your it's like. It's like a person who goes out and gets a master's degree. While master's degree may not be required, it makes an impact on your salary or it makes an impact when people are looking for a certain skill that maybe you don't necessarily need to have a master's degree to have, but it, it carries a certain cachet, you know? Right, and that's what I'm saying. So if Nikki, <laughs> know, if Nikki, if Nikki feels... And, mm -hmm. and it seems like it's true based on what we said last time and what we found. Seems uh -huh. like Nikki has been snubbed quite a few times when it comes to the Grammys. So if if she's not being given the things that would help her excel in those categories and in those ways that you're saying, you, you don't think that's a valid axe to grind? That plus the her her competitors, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um that that plus her competitors saying, No, I'm the number one chick here. You don't think I do, that? I do think it's valid. I just, I don't know. It's complicated for me because on one hand, I'm, I'm thinking, I wish, I wish she wouldn't let it consume her. But then on the other hand, because that's what I think when I see five pages of of Twitter Please. comments or tweets or whatever they're called now. Um, that's what I think. I'm like, D don't let this consume you because we know that you're talented and we know that you've done incredible things and we know we know all of, all of this. But then on the other hand, I'm like, okay, but if you don't feel like you're getting your just due, then who am I to tell you that you shouldn't ask for it or demand it? Right. So it 
gets it, it gets complicated with Nikki because I feel like I feel like yes, talk your shit. Like you accomplish these things, but at the same at the same time, it's it's almost sad that she even feels that she has to do that. Let me ask you: Do you think Nikki is revered in the same way that Drake is? You think it's hands down clear? So you think it's hands down clear that Nikki is the number one woman and has been in the industry? Do you think that the industry treats her that way? No. That's why I ask because I don't. I don't think Nikki gets treated like a Drake or a Jay Z or one of those people who we look at. What any generation looks at as, hey, this person is all the way at the top. That's that's the god here. That's the god level person. I don't think Nikki gets treated like a Drake, an Eminem, a Jay Z. I don't. I don't yeah. think that's the treatment she gets. Her name is often not coming up. It, the way the way that the way that Jay Z, Drake, run down the list. A lot of men's names roll off your tongue in these in, in a lot of these conversations about hip hop there are times where Nikki's name never comes up right that's why I asked the question so I, yeah I agree with that that you know she doesn't get her just due um, I don't know I, I don't I think that's wrong I think she deserves her just due you may not like every song she's made or every album she's put out um, but I wonder why that is. I wonder if it's because, is it because there's, uh, there are people who think of her in the same way that Yasin Bey thinks of Drake? I don't want to go back to that thing, that conversation, but I just, I think that's the easiest example that I could think of where it's like, she's more, more, leans more pop more often than not. And so she's not being considered when we're having certain conversations about hip hop because maybe people's minds go someplace else. I don't, I don't think know. so because I, the game I, I, is different for women. The women, the women almost have to be mainstream to become popular. <laughs> look at look at everybody who's a woman artist lately. The last decade, the last five years. Let's just keep it recent. In the last five to ten years, if you don't have a a mainstream record, if you don't have a crossover record, mm -hmm. people don't really know you like that. Yeah. You gotta have that. And so I think I think it's a little different because with the women, we're finding that the labels are finding these women who have followings or have a, a, a record that's already doing well. Uh, locally, I guess we'll say, and then bringing them in, putting money behind them, mm -hmm. and pushing that record and that person to mainstream, even if they don't have records that are doing well. And they say, okay, we're going to put a team of writers around you. We're going to put you with the best producers and put you out there. It's not the same game. And that's also why they got to do certain things. I'm not saying this is fair or not fair. I'm just responding. But that's why you see somebody like Lotto before the Mariah Carey record going on a podcast like the Joe Bunnan podcast and saying like, yo, there's a lot of shit they want me to do I don't feel comfortable with. I don't really want to be out here getting bodies done and, and, and learning dance routines. But what do we see since then? Mm -hmm. Those things are kind of part of the, 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 the be you remember there was memes for a couple years that was like the such and such starter kit memes. Remember, it would be a couple <laughs> pictures and be like the the starter podcast kit, uh, the 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 dope boy kit, the fuck boy kit. Mm -hmm. Is is a couple things that's in the female rapper starter kit. And I think that game is very different than the than the quote unquote men rappers, yeah. because the game the game is not the same. And that's a whole different conversation, but I don't think I'm trying to respond. I don't think Nikki gets that kind of Yasin Bey criticism for being pop or mainstream because 
that's kind of the wave. And maybe she started that wave. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, that's a conversation for another time, perhaps. But perhaps, perhaps she started that wave. But today, I do know if you don't got that kind of crossover appeal, that kind of mainstream appeal, where it's like KTU Michael also play this record. Mm-hmm. You might not be somebody who we know in every household. Right. You know, in, in on the men's side, there's a wide range. Maybe I shouldn't do up and down, but there's, there's a wide range of where men can fall on the scale and still become a household name. You don't have right. to be a Drake with a bunch of pop crossover records, right? Look at Yasin Bey. Yasin Bey, most deaf, is a household name. He didn't, he's not the person with all the Drake pop crossover hits, hence the criticism. But I think in the women's world, especially the last decade or so, I think it's very different. Okay. No, I see what you mean. 